Welcome to JRM Sweeps. I have a Sport Fisher 1100 spin cast reel here. We're going to take apart, clean up, and put back together. And when you go to remove the top and back piece, what you want to do is you want to loosen this screw here. And the reason why, and I already have it a little bit loose, is because there's a retaining tab right here, and there's also one back behind this plate as well. So you want to loosen this up, and then you'll be able to pop both the top and the back piece off. You can see that retaining piece right there. I'm going to go ahead and remove the handle. To remove this guy here, I'm going to put pressure down on the handle and then you're just going to rotate this counterclockwise. There's a retaining clip that we'll remove. here and when you do that you'll notice that there's I don't have any washers over here to worry about and pop right out so I'm going to remove this guy here let's twist this all the way out what I'm going to do now is just punch this center piece out Now to get the larger gear out, I'm just going to take a small little hammer. I've already kind of done that a little bit. I'm just going to tap that out. Now I'm going to have to take this screw out to get that gear out of there. And then you can take the larger gear out. This is your anti-reverse. I'm actually just going to leave that in place because it looks like it's pretty clean there. Now, if you do want to take this guy out, there's a small little retaining clip right here. And we're actually going to see if we can't get that out of there. There we go. It's a tiny, tiny little retainer clip. Okay, I already have the larger gear in place. Now, what we're going to do is install the elbow piece here. It goes in the little small hole. We're going to push it over this way. We'll be able to take this guy and set that on top there. We'll take this, add a little grease to it. We'll go ahead and get this in place. And give it a couple turns here just to kind of lock it in place. And what you're going to need to do is, don't forget about that small little bitty retainer clip that's going to go in there. Put that in. There we go. Got that locked in place. And give this a few turns. And we can install our center gear. I'm going to give it a little dab here. Some grease. Goes in there just like that. We can install that side piece here, install the screw that goes with that. So now what I'm going to do is take just a little bit of this waterproof spray grease and just kind of grease everything up in there. When you install this piece here, loosen it. There's a little lip right here. You're just going to go over that lip. Snap it in place, make sure that the button's lined up the way you want it. And then whenever you screw this down, what that's going to do is it's going to put pressure on that housing and hold it in place. Let's put a little spray grease right here. Put this guy in. Install the retainer clip. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and install the handle. That way it'll make it easier to install the last few pieces here. You can put this on here. Do that. We're going to set that down so the handle locks in place. Screw this in. There we go. See this piece is sticking out. When I press the button, it should go in. Comes back out to pull the line so everything's working properly. 
put the top cap on. I'm going to loosen this just a little bit here as well. Tighten that back up. Thanks for watching.